Well, hey there, everybody. I just want to give a big shout out to all the members that signed up, man. Really, it really touches my soul. Really, at the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all y'all, man. Thank y'all so much. And if you haven't signed up, go right ahead and hit that little join button and just join in the family. So, thank you so much once again. Y'all have a wonderful day or night and take care. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, back at it with another 5-2 Toys review. Mm -mm -mm. Love these things. If you don't know by now, they're not tra they're Transformers, but they don't have the Transformer name. So they look like a cube, and they transform into Beast Box. They got Mega Boxes. Just loads of fun. And I'm going to be looking at Erorus. Erorus, I think. I think it was called Erorus. Yeah, BB-12ER. Man, it's a mechanical spider. I mean, come on now. These guys are genius. Look at this. Now, it's one of the smaller boxes. This is one of the first ones I got that had a small box instead of a big one. And then you got Beast Box on the side. Love the artwork on there. That's pretty cool. And you got the right there. And then on the back, some stuff that I can't read. But awesome, man. Yeah, it's a mechanical spider, man. You can't go wrong with that. So let's just get right to the review. Hey, that's what you came for. Yeah. All right, there's Eris, Eris. Golly, I'm going to get tongue-tied with that name. Uh, that's in him in his cube mode and his little box charger. They all come with this, and you can stack them together. You can display them like this, and it's freaking awesome. I love it. If you follow my channel for a while, you know I'm you know rabbit hole deep in these things. Man, they're awesome. So let's open it up real quick. Let's get him out. And once again, the box charger it says 52 toys. Looks good. And then on the other side, it says box charger and caution. That's pretty neat. And here he is in the cube. Like I said, most of the time, not really a lot to him. But very nice. And we got stickers on these. It looks like my stickers are okay. They're not peeling or anything, so that's good. I watched some reviews in there. Uh, stickers were starting to peel from underneath or on the bottom right there. So mine looks pretty good. So there he is. There you can see his little... I think mandibles are what they're called, or his little stingers. There's little eyes or something like that. But yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, not much to them in the cube mode, but they're awesome. I like it. It's just, it's a neat idea. There you go. There he is. Cube mode. And real quick, there he is next to two legends, uh, New Age, for a little scale reference to show you how big they are. Scale. And Crapagonics, crappy toilet paper, Care Bears for more scale. All right, let's transform him into a spider mode. So what you want to do is grab him, and then you can untab. They are tabbed in. Let me see, what were they tabbed in? Yeah, right there and right in there. You just untab that. You want to bring their, like I said, manuables or something, manuables or something, painters. And you want to move her head up like that. And then you just want to take the legs. They are tabbed in as well right here. You just open these up. The arms wide open. Something that up. And you position that. All right. Then you want to take this piece right here. I wish that thing stayed in there. And then you want to take this little piece right here. I can get it out right there and you want to extend so this that piece right there is going to go in the hole right there so you just gotta extend it a little as much hopefully it won't break and then just fit it in there and then you want to take this part right here push that it's going to have that extended and then it's going to go into that hole right there now it's not the most secure it's going to pop out sometimes when you're moving and everything, but it's still staying right there. And then you can move the head around like that. And then you just situate the legs. And there you go. That's how you practically transform him into a spider mode. I'm about to clean up a little bit, and I'll be right back. But that's how you transform him. Pretty cool. 
All right, got it situated. So you can have these, you know, legs, I'll show you some articulation, but the head can go look down. Now it has a hinge or whatever, this thing right here. So it can go up and down, but the head can also move back and forth like that. So if you want to have them like, I'll show you the gimmick. There's a little gimmick with the string and everything. You can have them holding like that, or you can have them posing like that, or you can, he's pretty well articulated. The legs are really articulated, but you can get them into some pretty cool moods or modes like that. Now the little, his front pinchers or whatever, they got, you can move them around like that in and out as well. Not as, not as far, but you see, you know, you can get them pretty good. And these go in and out on a hinge right there. Now those little things go up and down. I love that translucent green. That is beautiful. He's got silver eyes. He got some red paint right there. Looks nice, matches to the red back there. But that's what you can do with the head. Like I said, pretty good movements. Now the legs can go up like this. You can bend like that. You can bend right here. So they have two points of bending and then this. Same thing for this. And now this one, different. It can move like this up and like that, up and down, up and down. But this has a swivel at the end. So you can definitely get them in some, you know, better poses back that way. But nicely done. I like it. Same goes for over here. Now, this thing, um, like I said, it will pop off once in a while a little bit. It's not the tightest connection in there but it stays there if you don't mess with it it'll stay there and then you got this i love it says overflow and then this says java something i think it says java lang unexpected exception like it's error you know his name is Aaron, so pretty cool and then you got error in the red back there that's nice now, like I said, he does have a gimmick. You can pull this nice little metallic little hook and you can pull that out. Now you can, you know, ease it out if you want to, but you know, he can hang. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna try to take some pictures of him hanging on anything, so pretty good. And all you do is you just, see that came up, it came out. So all you do is Reel it back in. And hopefully it'll stay up in there. Most of the time it don't stay up there, but there you go. That's all the articulation and little gimmick he has. He's pretty cool. He's very nice for a mechanical spider. I like it. Awesome. And real quick, there he is next to the uh, Transformer Siege Barricade. That is a deluxe scale. And I think the color matches real well. That's That could be his pet. But there's just a little scale reference for you right there. Scale. And crappy garnets, crappy toilet paper, Care Bears, and Squeaks for more scale. Oh, I forgot to mention, he does have two holes on there on the purple thing. So if you want to take some, you know, the extra weapons, you know, that I've shown on the, some other reviews and you get with some of them. You can arm him up if you want to. So you can put a little gun back here, or you can put the big one, you know, if you want to. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah, you can arm him up a little bit, have some guns in the background so he won't, you know, defend himself or something. But yeah, there's some options right there. If you have some of these extra little bits that come with the, some of them, you definitely can arm him up a little bit. So yeah, playability, it's fun. Let's talk about some 52 toys or 52 toys. Erroris. 
I love them. My gosh, God, dog. I love these damn things, man. I got tons to, I still got like at least, at least five or six more to review. I got on pre-order. Man, they're just, they got me. They got me good. I like this one, man. It's pretty cool. I love the color scheme, the black and the purple. You got some red and you got some turquoise. With that, man, it looks really good. Articulation's really good. Not a whole lot of paint because there's not a whole lot to work with. You know, not a, not a big canvas, but they got paint, you know, mostly everywhere. So, really nice done. Stickers, you know, they're fine. Hopefully mine will stay, you know, pretty good like that. But like I said, I've seen a lot of them uh, peeling up and everything. So that's kind of uh, annoying and everything. But yeah, other than that, really can't find any faults with it. Oh, I kind of wish this thing the back here would kind of stay tabbed in a little better. Every one, you know, every once in a while when I'm moving around, it, it'll pop up. But, you know, that's just a little nitpick. Other than that, man, it's really fun. It's awesome. It's a mechanical spider. And it goes well with Barricade, man. I didn't, I really just grabbed Barricade. And I looked down and I'm like, my God, their color scheme is really, really matched. So that could be his pet or something. That'd be pretty sweet. Well, anyway, I hope you liked my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some uh, comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. Is anybody in on these? I know a lot of people are. Uh, but does anybody, you know, really like these as much as I do? Because they're so much fun. All right, I guess I'll see you in the next uh, Fi2 Toys review. As always, be good to yourself. Help Fi2 Toys. And good night, folks. Oh, if you ever need anybody to look at your stuff, look me up. I'm definitely there for you. Man, look at that. So cool. It's a mechanical spider. Rare.